Hello, how's everyone doing? It is Mass Man Reviews back again with another video. As always, I hope you're doing well. And today what we have is a fragrance from the house of Giorgio Armani. And this one is Profundo Lights. So let's just jump right into the presentation. You have this uh, blue box and this kind of uh, reflective um, lettering on the box. Really don't see that that much on, um, on fragrance boxes like, like this. Um, it's almost kind of like a tie-dye. I, I don't know how to describe it that well, but it's just this beautiful greenish reflective lettering. Back of the box, it has a standard silver lettering and you got your batch code information, serial number, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the, the box. And then the bottle, um, it's a nice looking bottle, but the cap is a little bit suspect in my opinion. It's just a little bit flimsier. Some of the Aqua de Joe uh, caps are a little bit sturdier from, from the other lines and almost have a metallic feel to it. This doesn't have this metallic or um, magnetic cap. It's just a regular cap. Hold, you can hold it by the cap, no issues, as long as it's secure. And then on the top, you have the um, Armani, uh, Giorgio Armani uh, logo. So that's the, the presentation. I'll give you a little bit of a story on this fragrance and um, it's kind of interesting. So I've had this fragrance for a while and I just haven't reviewed it to, to be quite honest. I'm not even sure if I feature it on any other videos, but it's a nice fragrance. Um, what is kind of interesting to me about this fragrance is that I've tried it several times uh, in, in store and I was kind of impressed by it, but the, the, the actual bottle which I received and I, I purchased this uh, directly from Armani Beauty, uh, they had a, a sale. It's not as good in my opinion as, the, as when I smelled it in store. So that kind of leads me to believe that sometimes um, you get, I guess, bad batches or different batches of, of the same fragrance. Not to say that the fragrance itself right now is bad or anything. It's not a, a bad fragrance in, in, any, in any way, shape or form. It's just, it, to me, in my opinion, it does not smell as good as I smelled in store. Which, uh, for some fragrances, it's um, it kind of leads me to want to wanna get the tester of the fragrance just to, to figure out if, if there's uh, a difference between the batches uh, with the tester and um, the, the full bottle presentation, which is kind of interesting. I, I never thought about that, but this particular fragrance has had me thinking that maybe... Um, some testers are better than, than the actual uh, original bottle, believe it or not. So in regards to the notes, at the top you have cardamom, green mandarin, and C notes. At the uh, mid notes you have uh, balsam fern, cypress, rosemary, mastic, and lavender. And then at the base you have the vetiver, cedar, and um, patchouli. So what do I get from this? In my opinion, this fragrance is uh, a green aquatic. So it has a, a bit of those green notes. It has a little bit of an aromatic touch and feel to it, but it also has uh, C notes. And the C notes in this uh, fragrance remind me a lot of Bulgari um, Atlantique, Aqua Atlantique. So it has that Bulgari Aqua um, DNA in it, in, in a sense. As far as it comparing to Profundo, the original, it does have a lot of the Profundo in it. 
it's just more uh, of, a, of, a, of a seaside type uh, fragrance or more of a watery aquatic than uh, the original Profundo. Not to say that the Profundo, the original, is not aquatic, but I guess this one has uh, more green notes to it. So you would think that the, the fragrance called Profundo Lights would be a light fragrance, but in reality, it, it is not a light fragrance. It is a good summer fragrance, um, but it does have a little bit of, of an aromatic feel to it. it, has a little bit of a lot of greenness, to be quite honest, and uh, the, the marine notes. So let's go ahead and, and spray this on skin again. I've been using this quite a bit. I'm, I'm not gonna spray it on that side because I have my cup of coffee that way. I don't wanna get it in my coffee. Uh, cheers. In the air, it just smells lovely. You, you get that. Um, it's almost like a little bit of, of, of a bitterness, but still very vibrant with a sweet undertone. It's nice. It's really, really nice. The, the issue that I'm having with this fragrance, to, to be quite honest, is that every time I smell this in store, it smells different than my bottle. And I'm not sure if that has happened to any one of you where you buy a fragrance, you test it out in store, and when you get it home, you, you feel that it smells different. Right now, it's kind of making me, uh, it's making a fool out of me because <laughs> I'm smelling exactly what I'm smelling in store. Maybe it's because of the time, maybe it's the weather, I don't know, but I've tried this several times and it doesn't smell um, like it's smelling now. Which is um, which is quite uh, quite a miracle, but what that tells me is that this fragrance um, probably needs to macerate more, and um, it wasn't the, the bottle that I got probably was a, a newer batch or something. But it's smelling okay now. It's starting to that that opening is what I wish kind of would last a little bit more uh, longer. If anything, maybe that's what what I'm thinking about because right now it's kind of dying off a little bit and, and it's turning a little bit more uh, green and a little bit more sour in the opening it's fresh and it's a little bit sweet and aromatic but as it develops the green notes kind of um, take over um, I think this fragrance probably could have used uh, a little bit of apple in it uh, just to make it a little bit more crisper um, and maybe a little sweeter but overall, it's a great fragrance. Um, maybe not my favorite in the Aqua de Jo line, but it is a solid uh, performer and a really nice scent. And that is uh, the review. Uh, Performance-wise, it does perform. Uh, I'm getting at least six hours out of it, believe it or not. But it's not like, it's not strong. I would say after the first hour, hour and a half, it goes uh, straight to skin, but you will be able to smell it as a skin scent for a long time, but it's not something that is uh, ever present. It's, it just kind of goes away real, real quick. Um, and maybe that's another thing, like another strike in my opinion against it, but in the high heat, it performs better. So I've used this in, in high heat and it does actually perform pretty good. My my other issue that I would say I have against this fragrance is that there are other uh, blue fragrances, uh, blue aquatics that have a uh, better performance in this. And, and really, I know a lot of people say that you shouldn't judge a fragrance by the performance, but in my opinion, if you buy something, it should uh, last long. Or, or should have pretty good performance. It shouldn't be something that is um, like a, a three hour or four hour fragrance. And although this one lasts pretty long on skin, um, for a lot of people, realistically, they're gonna probably get maybe four to five hours out of this. It's not like, it, it doesn't last very long and it's not projecting a lot, to be quite honest. This is something that has a nice sillage, but it stays in place. Um, and that is the review. I hope you enjoyed the review. 
Um, if you have any additional questions, it's a great flanker. Right? Like I said, it's not. I'm not knocking this fragrance. I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance. Yeah, but to me, it could have better performance. I'm out. Later.